please. And gentlemen, to the Gryffindor banner, thank you. Fantastic. How's everyone doing? We do ask that you keep this distance from the front of the platform and that is for your own safety. You will see why, hopefully, oh. in just a few moments. Let me go check in our next real quick. Oh, they're going to dance. Hear that, guys? They're going to dance. Gentlemen, you're all set. Brilliant. And ladies, off we go. Anyway, yesterday was the second day in the... This must be day four then. Because yesterday was the second day in the park and the first day we had off. We don't know. Um, it's like 12.30. We've ordered American Taco Bell. And anyone that's Canadian will know that like 
They don't have fries supreme here. That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm bummed. <laughs> I love fries supreme. Um, so we're waiting for that. Uh, we swam. Kind of napped in the sun. <sighs> it's beach bum day. So this is the last day in the park, and we were just kind of walking around. Alyssa went on the Green Gods ride, and we ran into Corinne Lee and Rob Zar from Threadbanger. And Alyssa loves Threadbanger, like obsessed. Um, so she showed them their tattoo, and they kind of went bonkers. It's, honestly, she's still shaking. So if any chance Rob and Corinne see this video, thank you so much. You've made my wife's honeymoon like obviously not about our love anymore. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, I, just I'm very very humbled to be able to meet them. Um, didn't know Corinne was that short. Sorry, Corinne. Didn't know that. Um, uh, we're just gonna spend the rest of the day walking around the park. Tomorrow we pack, and the next day. We're so today's mostly getting gifts for our family and stuff. It is so dark. Adjust. And now that we've met Redbanger, next stop is Eric the Electric, which is going to be a California trip, of course. Also, since being in Orlando, there's this group on Facebook, UO Rocks, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And they hide these things all around the park. So far, we found four. We're going to get rid of these two because Alyssa is a Hufflepuff. And I love The Simpsons, so thank you. And I would seriously suggest if you're going to come to Universal, join this Facebook group. You're going to find some cool stuff. You're going to have some fun. It's awesome. And welcome to Hogsmeade. So they got the little train there to take pictures of. Zoinkos, which is closed. I think you can actually get through through Honeydukes. But I mean, the view. And there's the castle, but there's going to be a light show tonight. Hopefully it brings that to you guys. So we had to take the Hogwarts Express from uh, Hogwarts itself, the Hogwarts part of it, to this part of it. Hogsmeade. Diagon Hogsmeade. Alley to Hogsmeade. Diagon Alley to Hogsmeade. Sorry. Not Harry Potter nerd as much as the wife is. And it's Monday, so it's not too crowded. And we leave. Velociraptor blue. She was obsessed with my hat. <laughs> really wanted me to take it off. We're also trying to find something for the nephew Ken's. But not only is everything super expensive, like this little kid toy. How much is this? $30. Are you kidding me? It's gonna break. Then they have cool collectibles that are obviously very expensive. But they're super cool. Like an actual quarter scale. That Velociraptor claw. If anyone's a collector of dinosaur things, this is the spot to be. So we just stopped for a bathroom break, fill up these, because I'm going through this today like nobody's business. Yesterday it was not a lot of liquids. But we're at the Jurassic World. We got stuffed T-Rex and T-Rex tooth for the nephew. Where are we going next? Uh, probably the Marvel area. That'll be fun, because we're going to read the... Oh, what's it called? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Does whatever spider can. So, Liz just went to go and grab, like, the um, chicken figures here. Um, nutrition has been trash. Like, that's... It's kind of not been my main focus. Well, here, it's just been to have fun. But... <laughs> We both miss home cooking and just like plain food. Last night we went down to the hotel. Um, they have like almost like a food court type thing. And we were craving salty snacks. So uh, I got like this bag of, it's called combos. It has like filling in the middle, it tastes like pizza. It's pretty sick. I didn't eat all of it though. Cause I bought a Caesar, a chicken Caesar salad. And that just, 
I miss salads so much. Um, so when I get back, like, oh, I can't wait for my nutrition. Oh my god. Also on this trip, I've gotten non-stop compliments about this Thanos shirt. I got it for like $15. Not even here, like I got it before we left the city. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh my god, are you excited for the three hour movie? I'm like, sure, as long as I have an intermission where I can stretch my ass. Literally the second we ran into Robin Corinne, it starts pouring rain. Like, I think Rob's a dementor, what do you think? Perfect weather to see, have you seen this wizard? Today's packing day, folding the clothes because she's the expert at that. And of course my camera dies as we're recording the light show. Um, but after the Slytherin, nothing else is kind of important. I don't know. Okay. Um, I think we have to leave here at like 2 a.m. It's like noon now. Um, I'm just gonna have a very nice lazy day 
enjoy the 30 degree weather before we go back to literally snow this week in Toronto. We're not happy. Are you happy for the snow? No. I'm not looking forward to that. No. At all. It was also really cool walking around the park. We ran into Rob and Corinne from Threadbanger a second time. The first time I stopped Rob and was like, oh my god, like, hey, it's you. Second time he stopped us and actually remembered us, so I thought that was pretty awesome. What do you think? Threadbanger fan over there, so. Well, in here. Whatever. So it's almost 3 a.m. and we're just waiting for our shuttle, which should be here soon, to the airport. Bag is in, and we are at Finishing Orlando. I'll see you in Georgia. Welcome to Georgia. Next stop, Toronto. outside it's so much colder but it's your breath we just came from like almost high of I guess 32 degrees to I don't know it must be 10 degrees outside right now when we got off the plane we were in our t-shirts but <laughs> our sweaters on now Whoa. Nice. And we're home. Um, it's actually, so we came back, we hit the ground Wednesday in Toronto. It's Thursday at like 5, 36 o'clock. Um, I didn't want to film my outro yesterday, I was so tired. And then we went to bed. I got like 12 hours of sleep though. First day back at work, everyone was like, oh my god, oh my god, how was it? And it was great. Um, but if you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe down below. I will have links to definitely to Threadbanger because they. I didn't get them on camera. I felt it was kind of rude. Um, and hopefully this will come out after Corinne's video because this is going to take me like a week to edit. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys later.